What were you taught about the first Thanksgiving? Chances are it was probably the story of the pilgrims and Native Americans coming together to say thank you to one another. Yet have you ever stopped to wonder how true that lesson was? We're being joined by Anna Brokenleg, who is an instructional coach with the Sioux Falls School District's Office of Indian Education. She's here with some ideas as to how we can help talk with our kids about the true origin of the holiday. Welcome. Thank you. So this can be a tough balance. We are headed to Thanksgiving. We want, most of us want to have that family time, some of the traditions we've established over a long time. We want to have gratitude. We want to sit down for a meal, but we might also be struggling with honoring, honoring a holiday that is rooted in you know, the decimation of an entire population of people. Yeah, it definitely can be a tough balance to keep. <laughs> right? So I, you know, I want to be able to do the traditions I love and have family time, but I want to do it in a way that brings my children the true history of the holiday and, and really helps them understand, you know, where this comes from. So what do I do? This is, I'm like, <laughs> this is a hard one. Well, I think the first thing is just to educate yourself, obviously, and I know that you've already done a lot of that self-education. Um, being in the generation that I'm from, uh, it wouldn't have been uncommon for your kindergarten teacher to try to dress you up as pilgrims and Indians. Mm -hmm. So a lot of us didn't get that real solid, factual um, education behind the first Thanksgiving and what really happened. Yeah, we're the same age. We went to school together even. Yes. So, I mean, I remember that. We, we made pilgrim hats or we made Indian headdresses yeah. and we wore them, yes. right? Yes, and we're really glad we've moved away from <laughs> activities like that in schools. Um, and I know that the Sioux Falls School District revamped all of our Thanksgiving lessons a number of years ago to really focus on like that primary source document and what we really know actually happened. So what do we really know? So what we really know is that the first Thanksgiving um, happens sometime probably between September and November of 1621. And what's described in the primary source document is actually that it was really more of a treaty negotiations um, between the Wampanoag tribe and the settlers. Um, and we have multiple indications of that uh, in the settlers' account of what happened. Um, and so they agreed on different terms of agreeing to defend one another in war. But the whole reason why that agreement even needed to happen uh, was because the Wampanoag people were actually wiped out in large numbers because of a plague um, that occurred a number of years before that because of contact with Europeans. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the location that the settlers landed on um, was actually a wiped out Wampanoag village. So the reason it had all of the great things there that they needed um, was in fact because it was an old settlement, Wampanoag mm -hmm. settlement. And so because of their low numbers and the settlers um, arriving in larger numbers, they decided there was a need for that kind of treaty negotiations. So not necessarily the celebratory moment that we might think. Right, exactly, that our American mythology has really perpetuated mm -hmm. for the last however many hundreds of years. We also know that in a lot of times in this sort of um, manifest destiny and the, the continued mass genocide of Native Americans that oftentimes colonizers would have a Thanksgiving meal every time that they won, every time that they were able to decimate the entire village, right? Yes. So how do I reconcile knowing that knowledge and, and learning about it myself, helping my children understand it with having a celebration at the same time? So I think having kids understand what really happened is important and being able to have those open conversations with them and teaching them about empathy. I mean, I really try to keep a focus on that when I talk about things with my own children, whether it's things from Native American culture or other cultures, as really just being able to learn to honor multiple perspectives on a topic and understanding um, that another group of people might have had a totally different experience. So I think it's always good to come at it from an empathetic kind of point of view. Um, and then, of course, that view of gratitude, still keeping that focus on gratitude, because it's never a bad thing to right. have gratitude for what you have uh, in life or what um, your family has is able to do. 
So those are some kind of pieces I like to focus on. And then also thinking about other options for them to expand their learning about the indigenous people in North America. You do have one book here too, I wanna to look at this. Yes, so, and if parents are looking for resources as a way to get started and they're not sure where to go, um, the National Museum of the American Indian, which is one of the Smithsonian's, um, does have new information on their website under um, the heading of Native Knowledge 360. And they're putting out a bunch of great videos, educational resources for teachers and for kids at K through 12 on multiple different things. So they have some good information about the first Thanksgiving and you can search by age level of your kids. Mm -hmm. So to help you make sure that it's age appropriate for where they're at. And this is another book that's um, come out from that museum as well that has a lot of great information, short little reads you could do with your kids on a variety of topics. And not surprisingly, the very first question they ask is, do Native Americans celebrate Thanksgiving? It's kind of the first topic covered in the book because it is such a widespread um, thing that people wonder about, I think. And there's such a diverse um, response from Native people right. as well. There's not really an answer to yeah. that. Some people, some Native Americans consider it a day of mourning. Others are celebrating and cooking turkey with their families. So some people really. do still find, I mean, there are Na Native American cultures that it's, you know, I'm not going to celebrate Thanksgiving in the mass genocide of Native Americans, right. but I'm going to have a family they're meal. they're going to enjoy a meal with their family. I'm going to have a meal with my family, yeah, right? Exactly. You know, because it's in the culture and society we live in, it is still a day off for everybody, whether or not that's something you want to celebrate, and it's still the time that you can have that time with your family and have more time for travel, and you kind of get sort of I mean, in a way, pushed into using that time if you want to spend time with your family. Exactly. Okay, so well, what, will you, what will you do for Thanksgiving this year? So this year, I will be spending it with my brother at my brother's house, with yeah. my family. And we'll have a meal and probably also a lot of other conversations around education and Thanksgiving and all the things that we usually do. <laughs> right. I think for me, this is going to be, it's going to be a good opportunity to have some conversations with my kids, which I already do. But in these settings, I'm expanding from past my kids only to other kids in the family that, and other family members that might not have really, might not know that I really want to talk about it. So we'll have to, you know, start having the conversations. Definitely. And I'm thankful to have you here to help me. <laughs> thank well, you very thank, much. Thank you so much for having me.